Hey everybody, Fred here for Tag Media Network, and today I'm going to be introducing my How to Produce Gaming videos on a Mac series. This is going to be episode 1, and I'm going to kind of just go over everything that I'm going to cover within the whole series. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do, it's going to be an easy step-by-step -step guide from beginning to end on professional YouTube-style gaming video production made on Mac OS X. So basically, it's going to be for that person out there, the viewer that has just been watching YouTube and has realized that they want to start making gaming videos. You look into it, and it's actually a bit more than more complex than you would think. So I'm going to start from the very first step all the way to exporting your videos and uploading. I was looking around on YouTube, and I hadn't really noticed a good step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this, so I figure I will take it upon myself, and I'll make a really good one so that you guys don't have any problems at all. Okay, so like school, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to give you guys a supplies list, things that you're going to need to professionally, because that's what this is, professionally produce gaming videos on YouTube. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to need is a capturing device. Personally, I use the Hawpog HD PVR, but there's other options out there, such as the Blackmagic Intensity Pro. I haven't actually talked to anybody with that, but uh, I know it's another great option. I don't suggest getting the Dazzle. Even the HD version, the quality isn't even that good, and people just generally won't want to watch your videos. So I suggest going out and purchasing the Hawpog HD PVR if you plan on making professional YouTube videos about gaming. Okay, so that's the first thing that you need. Second thing you're going to need is capturing software. This series I'm going to be basing off of my knowledge of with the Hawpog HD PVR. So when you buy the Hawpog HD PVR, the capturing software that they give you is only for PC. Don't worry, it's only a little bump in the road. So the software that you're going to need to purchase or get another way is going to be called ITV3. You can get that from Elgato.com. If you don't already have it, uh, there will be a link in the description. You can go check that out after you finish watching this. Okay, so you got your capturing device and you have your capturing software. The next thing you're going to need is editing software. I'm gonna Because we're on Mac OS X and we're going to be making this professionally, we're going to be using something called Final Cut Express. You can also use Final Cut Pro. There's not really a huge difference. That's the editing software that I'm going to be explaining how to edit YouTube gaming videos with, though, so check that out also. Just for the record, I'm not doing iMovie because that's not very professional. That's more for, like, family videos that you want to watch on your home TV. I'm not doing anything like After Effects, given that's sort of crazy professional, a little blown out of proportion for the level of skill that I'm targeting my audience as. Those are the three main things that you're going to need. Here's a couple things that I suggest getting, though. An application called MPEG Stream Clip. I'll put a link in the description to where you can go and download that at. And another thing that's going to help you out a lot in your endeavor here is going to be Photoshop. And I can go, if you guys leave comments, I'll go over tutorials on how that can help you also with making gaming videos. Okay, so now that you have your full supplies list, get your hands on that stuff before you continue on watching this series or before the next video comes out and decide to watch that. Just so that you have everything that you need once it comes into play. Okay, so that's the end of my intro to my series on how to produce gaming videos on a Mac. At the end of each video, I'm going to have annotations to head to the next video or the last video, depending on what you need to know. And this is obviously the intro, so there's just a next video annotation. So click that once it's live. Head to the next step in this endeavor to start producing your first YouTube gaming video on a Mac. This has been Fred for Tag Media Network. I hope you guys will learn lots from this series, and I'm out. Peace.